Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss a question which says that find the equations of the bisectors of the angle between the straight lines 3x plus 4y plus 2 is equal to 0 and 5x minus 12y minus 6 is equal to 0. Now before starting the solution of this question we should know a result. And that is for the lines L1 and L2, where L1 is given by A1x plus B1y plus C1 is equal to 0 and L2 is given by A2x plus B2y plus C2 is equal to 0. The equations of the bisectors of the angles between the lines L1 and L2 are given by A1x plus B1y plus C1 whole upon square root of a1 square plus B1 square is equal to plus minus A2x plus B2y plus C2 whole upon square root of A2 square plus B2 square in which the equation obtained on taking the positive sign will be the equation of the bisector that bisects the angle in which the origin lies and with the negative sign We will have the equation of the other bisector. Now this result will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. Now in the question, the equations of the lines are given to us. So given the equations of the lines as 3x plus 4y plus 2 is equal to 0 and 5x minus 12y minus 6 is equal to 0. Now, writing the given equations so that the constant terms are positive we get 3x plus 4y plus 2 is equal to 0 and minus 5x plus 12y plus 6 is equal to 0. Now here we are getting both the constant terms that are 2 and 6 as positive. Now let us name this as 1 and this as now to find the equations of the bisectors of the angle between the lines 1 and 2, we will use this formula. Now, 
the equations of the angular bisectors of 1 and 2 is given by plus 4y plus 2 all upon square root of 3 square plus 4 square is equal to plus minus minus 5x plus 12y plus 6 all upon square root of minus 5 square plus 12 square. Now this is written as a1x plus b1y plus c where a1 is 3 and b1 is 4 over square root of a1 square plus b1 square is equal to plus minus a2x plus b2y plus c2 over square root of a2 square plus b2 square where a2 is equal to minus 5 and b2 is equal to 12 which is further 3x plus 4y plus 2 whole upon square root of 3 square is 9 plus 4 square is 16 is equal to plus minus minus 5x plus 12y plus 6 whole upon square root of minus 5 square is 25 plus 12 square is 144. Now this implies 3x plus 4y plus 2 whole upon square root of 25 is equal to plus minus minus 5x plus 12y plus 6 whole upon square root of 25 plus 144 is 169 which further implies 3x plus 4y plus 2 whole upon 5 is equal to plus minus minus 5x plus 12y plus 6 whole upon square root of 169 is 13. Now in this equation by taking the positive sign we obtain the equation of the bisector that bisects the angle in which the origin lies. Therefore, the bisector of the angle in which the origin lies is, now in this equation, taking the positive sign, it will be 3x plus 4y plus 2 whole upon 5 is equal to plus minus 5x plus 12y plus 6 whole upon 13 which further implies on cross multiplying 13 into 3x plus 4y plus 2 the whole is equal to 5 into minus 5x plus 12y plus 6 the whole which further implies 39x plus 52y plus 26 is equal to minus 25x plus 60y plus 30 which implies 39x plus 25x plus 52y minus 60y plus 26 minus 30 is equal to 0 which implies on adding this we get 64x and 52y minus 60y is minus 8y and here 26 minus 30 is minus 4 is equal to 0 now this implies taking 4 common within brackets it will be 16x minus 2y minus 1 is equal to 0 which further implies 
16x minus 2y minus 1 is equal to 0. So this is the equation of the bisector of the angle in which the origin lies. Now by taking the negative sign, the equation of the other bisector can be obtained. Now in this equation, taking the negative sign, the equation of the other bisector is 3x plus 4y plus 2 whole upon 5 is equal to minus of minus 5x plus 12y plus 6 whole upon 13 which implies 3x plus 4y plus 2 whole upon 5 is equal to 5x minus 12y minus 6 whole upon 13. Now on cross multiplying this implies 13 into 3x plus 4y plus 2 the whole is equal to 5 into 5x minus 12y minus 6 the whole. Which further implies 39x plus 52y plus 26 is equal to 25x minus 60y minus 30. Which further implies 39x minus 25x plus 52y plus 60y plus 26 plus 30 is equal to 0. Which further implies 14x plus 112y plus 56 is equal to 0. Further, this implies on taking 14 common within brackets it will be x plus 8y plus 4 is equal to 0. This implies x plus 8y plus 4 is equal to 0. Therefore, this is the equation of the other bisector. Hence, the equation of the bisector of the angle in which the origin lies is 16x minus 2y minus 1 is equal to 0 and the equation of the other bisector is x plus 8y plus 4 is equal to 0. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.